This review looks at two Kenworth Prime Movers by Drake Collectibles. Model Z013735 is a K200 in the colours of MacTrans. And Model Z013730 is a T909 in the colours of Membries. Both models are delivered in outer shipping cartons. And it's interesting to see that Drake Collectibles sometimes open and inspect them before delivery. Let's get on and open up one of them and we'll choose the K200. And it comes in a nice Kenworth branded box. Inside the box there are two trays and if we take off the top we find that... Oops, the model still thinks it's in Australia. Anyway, that's no problem for the Cranes Etc team, so we flip the trays over. And inside the K200 is protected by some clear plastic film. Also in the box are some bags containing parts. There's a plastic pointer and as a nice touch there's also a reprint of the Kenworth K200 brochure. This includes some nice photos and details about the real truck. And it's a worthwhile inclusion. Moving on to the T909 and it's much the same although this one came out the right way up. And the inclusions within the box are very similar. For this model you also get a copy of the marketing brochure for the Kenworth T909. Assembly of both models is similar and the first thing to do is just to apply the mirrors to the cab. They are metal mirrors so you have to be a little bit careful with them and the ones on the T909 are a little bit more tricky to fit because they've got three attachment points. Also included with each model is an oversized sign and we'll put those on even though there's no trailer with these prime movers. One other thing on both models is that there are coiled lines but they tend to wave about quite a bit and there's nothing to plug them into. So to tidy it up we'll add a little bit of plastic putty and then press the ends of the coiled lines into it. Starting with the T909 and the chassis is very detailed and really only the tread on the tyres is not to the highest standard. The T909 cab is incredibly detailed with really excellent chrome work. This particular truck is decorated in memory of Rowan John Membry and it's beautifully replicated on the model including a bespoke chrome exhaust stack. Behind the cab the artwork on the real truck has been replicated. The fuel tanks and wheel arches look convincing and at the rear there's a number plate, mud flaps and nice looking lights. One nice detail on both models is that the mud flaps are flexible. Moving on to the K200 and it also has a very detailed chassis. Again on this model the chrome work is of a very high standard including the fuel tanks and wheels. And the K200 cab looks great with its lights and distinctive front radiator. The graphics, chrome work and fine detailing around the cab are top quality. And there's also artwork on the back of the cab of this truck. Looking further behind the cab there's more great chrome work including the wheel arches. And the detail continues to the rear with mud flaps, lights and a number plate. <laughs> Out we go onto the Cranes Etc Highway and the T909 rolls reasonably well although it's not free rolling. The wheels on the rear axles all spin together and a very nice feature of the model is that it has fully sprung suspension. Moving to the front there is working steering although it is notched rather than being infinitely variable and there's suspension on the front wheels too. With the steering set it will follow a shallow curve. Looking at the back the fifth wheel has a positive locking clip and it also has some adjustment longitudinally to suit different trailers. Continuing the walk around we get to the front of the truck and the ball bar folds down and that lets you tilt forward the opening hood. In keeping with the high standard of the model it's well worth doing because there's a very detailed engine underneath. There are a couple of other features on the truck and that includes opening cab doors and here we're using a plastic pointer to spear through the driver's head as we open the other door. 
They are a little bit stiff and you have to be careful not to knock off the mirrors. And if you can get your eyeball inside, the detail inside the cab is very good. There's one other feature inside the cab and that is the seats because they have an air ride facility. So they provide some smooth cushioning for both the driver and the passenger. Back out onto the highway and we pick up the K200. And it also rolls along reasonably well without freewheeling away. The rear axle spin easily and is also notched steering at the front. The steering achieves a moderate angle so the K200 steers in a shallow curve. The model features working suspension and you have to wonder what's going on inside that sleeper cab. The K200 also features a positive locking fifth wheel and it's also possible to adjust it longitudinally. So you're all shouting let's see the engine. Well the cab tilts forward to a good angle and it poses in a tilted position. And again there's a high quality detailed engine to be seen underneath. The other feature the model also shares with the T909 is opening cab doors. And again the pointer is useful because of the close fit. And also so that you can bounce the seats up and down. These two big Australian prime movers are very good models by Drake Collectibles. They are very highly detailed with excellent chrome graphics and paintwork. And the features are very good too. Certainly if you're into big heavy haulage these are outstanding models.